Hey, this is Hex from the Overwatch League, and this is In My Sights. Today, we're going to be taking a look at Lucio extraordinaire Li Jie Gong from the Shanghai Dragons. They're going to play against the Hangzhou Spark here on Ilios. As a Lucio, there's a lot of things you want to be doing for your team. You want to engage and disengage from team fights with your boost. You want to save lives with your ultimate, and you want to control space with your alternate fire known as boops. But this is Ilios. Forget all that. Let's just send people into the void with the environmental kills. A little slower rollout here so that the Hangzhou Spark are able to get control of pack room. Look at this verticality, look at this mobility. Lucio, one of the most mobile heroes in the game. There's no spot on the map that he can't get to. His team does a good job of disengaging. Lee Gon's able to check the opposing Reaper, but his Reaper goes down and in these mirror compositions, that's almost all of your damage. It can be very difficult to try to get kills. Gonna go for a fight swinging boop onto the Sombra. That doesn't happen. Gonna try another one here on Bebe. Doesn't necessarily get that done, so now it's just about getting out. We talked about the mobility, and there's some settings you can change to help you with your own Lucio mobility. Enabling backwards wall riding in settings will help you out a lot, and you may want to toy around with uh, holding down shifts across speed which just kind of allows you a different style of play. Play around with it, whatever you feel comfortable with. His team gets entirely cleaned up yet again. Now it's just about getting back, trying to disengage, keeping people alive to make sure that the other team can't charge their ultimates as easily. Falling all the way back, spamming down the alley, trying to get his ultimate up. Now, Bozzy is nearing 100%. And that is going to be a problem. The EMP and even just the hacks are going to be a big issue for the Lucio. You're going to see him checking back lines a lot to check for the Reaper, to check for the Sombra. He sees the Translocator up here, kills that, so the Sombra doesn't have an escape plan just now. Looking for that boop. Able to get Adora into the pit. Ah, but gets EMP'd, gets hacked. You see how ineffective Lucio is when he is hacked. His team's trying to bring it back just a little bit, and the Spark have to commit a sound barrier to this. Not ideal, but you're Lucio. You can get back into the fight very quickly. If your team is still in it, you should still be able to get there in time. And a beautiful sound barrier here as he sees that Hangzhou wants to get aggressive. The Coalescence came out. The sound barrier keeps his team alive. Adora's die, die, die turns into bye, bye, bye as he's out of the fight. And now you're going to see two of the most aggressive Lucios in the league and Lee Jae Gon and IDK dueling each other all game. There's different styles of Lucio. Some are more defensive, a little more passive, and they can make that work. But these two ain't it. They're going to go after each other. They are duelists, and especially on control maps, Lucio's role kind of changes completely and on Ilios especially where the environmental kill options are so plentiful. And just making sure everyone is alive, making sure that there's no one behind him, a nice little quick check with a wall ride. Gets hacked during this one but is able to get his team all healed up, chasing down some kills and even though he's hacked, still some good tracking here with the primary fire. And tell me what's at the bottom of that pit, D.Va? Nothing. Eternal nothingness into the black void in the middle of the map. The dragon's able to take control and keep control of that point 41% and counting up for this squad. Still just checking around. If you're not constantly dancing and moving around as a Lucio, you're not using him to his full ability. If you see yourself mostly sitting on healing, try to play around with maybe just using that mobility as your default mode. Tries to go for the boop there, not gonna happen, but the EMP and Shatter come down for the Shanghai Dragons to clean up this fight rather easily. Does everyone heal up? Trying to chase some kills, just using that mobility to chase. Can he get IDK? Oh, barely out alive. That's a nice trade there, Lip takes down Bazi, so they have a reprieve for moments, not having to worry about getting hacked and picked off in the back line. I'm going to see a little less aggressive checking because he knows there's no one behind him. No translocators behind him either. So Shanghai has spotted where Hangzhou wants to come from, taking control of this pack room with a kind of a, a heavy front line. Coalescence comes in early, but able to isolate the opposing Reinhardt. A nice disengage here. Gets out with his fellow healer and then Void just saves the planet here. 
This one is kind of frustrating. Yep, that's really brutal. He lives through the shatter, but Lee Jae Gon tries to get the sound very often. He gets EMP'd during the animation. If you blinked, you missed it. There goes his ultimate, but it doesn't matter. The rest of his team is cleaning up. That is going to be the first point of Ilios going the way of the Shanghai Dragons. And you see just how much you need to be doing constantly on the Lucio. If there's a time you're just chilling, going back and forth, listening to your headphones, that's not working. You need to be moving people where they need to go, make sure everyone is topped up, and using your mobility to your advantage. It's one of the hardest heroes to kill in a 1v1. Getting hacked obviously is going to slow down your Lucio play, but pretty much you can just live in the skybox Get as high as you possibly go on any of these maps and let your team know where it's coming from. Overwatch is a game about information a lot of the times and Lucio is one of the best scouts that we have in the game. We're gonna move over to the ruins section of Ilios here and all the environmental kills are on the right side of the map and these pillars can be great for Lucio. As you're gonna see in a second after the spam comes through that you're just gonna be dancing all around. Both teams are gonna play a little bit tentative because you don't wanna get launched off the map here. They know exactly what both these Lucios are trying to do. The Wraith Walk, able to save that Reaper's life. Both teams just kind of posturing around. And he gets the environmental in the Sombra, but just barely. And you're gonna see a lot of those little 180s that come over the top of opposing enemies, right? Gets up over the top, just a little flick. He's trying to knock the opposing players into his own team. That's as good as a kill for the most part. Environmental deaths, a lot of people think about knocking them off the map. Well, it's just as dangerous to be knocked into the opposing team and be isolated from your squad. So you see a lot of Lucio's trying to do. You know, just using the architecture of the map. He's just waiting to get to the Reaper, but gets hacked. His team hits the go button on the hack, goes through, able to chase down kills again. And he's trying to knock the Sombra back into his team. Get back here for some critical healing. Everyone is safe, 35% and counting up. So now they're in a good position. This is just a little bit of spam until his team decides to engage or disengage, whatever the call is made. It's a great spot on the Sombra there, making sure that can't happen. So it's kind of a game of cat and mouse between the Sombra and the Lucio. The Lucio uses his beat early on that EMP is going to strip off shields. So you want to use the beat reactively. That's why he's hiding a little bit. Wants to be away from his team. He knows that the EMP is ready. So his team doesn't get everything they want there. But the Shatter goes in. And now they commit the, the sound barrier. But you see EMP just strips all those shields off. A great play from Bazi. Taking down all those shields. Flood is able to trade out for his opposing number. And now is it time to engage or disengage? They spot some targets. IDK, another aggressive Lucio, is able to take down the Sombra. The other side of things. But again, just gets up over the top. That's yeah, not terrible. He traded for Gushue. But right now, you're going to see Sashin just light up the kill feed. And he had to. He had to have an enormous play. And that's 99% for Shanghai. They're one fight away from this. And if you're Shanghai, you probably feel pretty good about this because EMP just came online. EMP and Shatter won them fights on the previous stage of Ilios. There's no reason why it can't happen again. And just using the mobility to check out these top angles, making sure there's no one behind him. Does a great job of checking the corners for his team. Reaper comes in, and there's a really nice boop there. They're going to commit to this. The EMP goes in. They get Gujway really early on in this fight. It's 6-4 to four on the point right now. This should be over for the most part. One trade comes down, but right there, booped into the team. But Sashin gets two on his own, and somehow the Spark bring that back in a 4v6 fight. Hacked again. This is... Getting bad now for the Dragons. You got Lucio out of the fight, trying to get back in there, but the Coalescence comes in. The grab gets thrown away. Void, tossed into the void by Void, really. 
And his opposing number is just able to get the better engagement in that fight. Sashin's been carrying here. Team's trying to disengage. No one really disengages properly. Stand one's gonna go down, and it's back to the drawing board. You gotta get all the way out here. Lip gets a little too ambitious. Taken down. Now it's time to reset. And this was 99% to zero at one point in time, and now it's 70%, and that's close to a final fight situation. Dragons are going to have a sound barrier to use when they want it, but do you use it aggressively and engage with the sound barrier, or do you save it for something like a Graviton Surge? The Graviton comes in, hacked though, he can't use the sound barrier. His team stays alive though. Now do you commit to the barrier to keep your team alive? Sombra has gone down there, and that's kind of a late barrier, trying to just bring this back, but it's not late necessarily, because if he doesn't barrier, they lose this fight anyway. This one's a lost cause. Dragon's never able to get a favorable engagement, even sitting at 99 to zero. The Hangzhou Spark with the salty run back there take 100%. That's stage two of Ilios. So nice little techniques there. Not a lot of people playing around the environmentals. It's hard to get environmental kills on ruins, but now this would make most Lucios happy as we are going to the best stage for Lucio knockoffs, perhaps in the entire game. This is the third stage of Ilios, and this would make Virginia Wolf happy as we're gonna go to the lighthouse. That's for all my English majors out there. So this is actually the stage where he gets the most environmental kills, and he's got eight environmental kills in this match, tied for the most in the Overwatch League history. Both teams just posturing up right now. You see EJ gone, give a little peek in the backside, make sure no one's coming in. Didn't really catch that Reaper there. Almost gets hacked. And a little bit of trouble. His team has to disengage, kind of, but this is not really an overfight just yet. You're going to see Lee Jagon try to take this left angle most of the time, try to knock people off as best he can. Almost gets that one. Actually does get that one. It looked like Bebe had faded out of the fight. He does not. Is that another one? Yup, that's two right off the bat for Lee Jagon, and this is exactly where you want to be living life as Lucio. A lot of times his teams are going to try to engage on that left side, and it just makes it so easy for you to defend and knock them off as a Lucio. And this is just great stuff right here. He's holding high ground, sees that he doesn't necessarily want his other support to have to duel there, and it only takes him a second to get back in the positioning he wants. Trying to take high ground here, and while everyone is looking at the front door, it is Flutter and the back door able to take down Bebe. Bebe? Bebe? I don't know. I've heard it pronounced every different way. I've pronounced it three different ways so far already in this video. So now, it's the waiting game. Please come in. Please come in. All he wants to do is isolate somebody here. Make sure that they can't do what they want to do. Able to isolate the Zarya immediately. Zarya goes down, EMP follow up. We're in, we're out, the Zarya is out of the fight. Now can we chase down any kills? That's all they're looking for. Spotted somebody out over here. Not quite gonna happen. So, second burst, same as the first. Take over this high ground. Again, scouting for information. That's not great, losing your Sombra early. I'm gonna back up just a little bit. Thinking of maybe going for that taxi, not necessary in this situation. So, the responsive barrier there, but Void had already gone down. The EMP and Death Blossom is gonna be all she wrote on this one now. Can you get any stall? Can you get any opposing picks? He's got IDK, knocks him off, but Lucio is hard to kill environmentally. He will take him down, he will trade for it. I kinda wanna go back and watch uh, Sashin on this POV as well. Sashin has clutched it for Hangzhou. The last two stages here. Trying to re-engage, get back into it. His team's just holding high ground, waiting for everyone to come back up. Well, Lucio taking these off angles, looking for people, checking behind, instant 180s. Now he's where he wants to be, he's near the edge, tries to go for that boop over the top, but IDK is the one who gets the boop. Can he get anything? <laughs> this is just people falling into the ocean constantly here. Nice boop there onto Bebe. Hacked. So now he's got to chill just a little bit. 
looking to try to clean up that environmental. He'll take that free kill. He'll take that one too. And those trades are not inconsequential here. Double negatives all day. But it allows his team to come back in, re-engage, because he traded two for one. Getting back in there, 82% and counting up, and the Dragons will flip it back in their favor. Now, can he get one more? Yup, Adora, into the drink, off the edge. So many environmental kills, this is just crazy. Trying to charge up, and now it's another isolation play. Tries to go over the top, but there was a nice Zarya bubble, but his team is just gonna keep on pushing here. And that quick over the top, 180, trying to isolate a Zarya. And at 99%, they thought they were just going to have to isolate, but there was a back cap, I believe, in the back side of things. Lee Jae Young almost picked off as he escapes, but he says, I am a leaf in the wind. Watch how I soar. Can he get the Sombra? Nope, she translocates back in. That's so frustrating. Keeps his team alive. Keeps the Reaper out of it. Now looking for even more environmental kills here. Can he just clean it up? One more for good measure. The Sombra gets her off the edge again and another translocate. Uh, so frustrating. Could have had a couple more. Can he get it? Can he get it to finish? Doesn't need it. Ends it on a five player kill streak, and the Shanghai Dragons will take Ilios in no small part thanks to the aggressive Lucio play of Lee Gone.